I appreciate the invitation from Hiram Oaks, the Utah Valley Marathon race director, to participate in this Utah Valley Marathon symposium. My name is John Hedengren. I'm a professor at Brigham Young University. But before I was a professor, I was also a competitive runner, NCAA All-American. And now I'm a coach to a Roadrunner Junior Club team with about 100 youth athletes. And I want to be able to give them the best advice that I can and also be able to share that with others and unlocking potential through machine learning. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about how we can take a physical therapist and put it in your pocket, uh, put it in everybody's pocket, a form coach and a physical therapist and give expert advice by using machine learning to be able to analyze running form and be able to make specific recommendations to avoid injury and be able to increase performance. So I'm going to share with you just a little bit about what we're doing with data science and machine learning and how we can apply that to be able to help runners uh, know how they're progressing in terms of their form, in terms of their strengthening and conditioning, and in particular what areas they need to focus on. So first thing we need to do is be able to identify each runner. We're going to draw a box around them, even in complicated environments, use their bib numbers to help identify them. Instead of using facial recognition technology, many races just have bibs. So we're just focusing on the torso area to be able to identify each runner and be able to provide specific recommendations for each runner. Then once we identified the, each runner, we want to look at specific biomarkers on the body to be able to detect issues that might lead to injury or also inefficiencies. And if we change those, we can be able to unlock additional performance in the athlete and help them stay injury free. So let me talk a little bit about how we've done this so far. We first of all wanted to identify the accuracy of these algorithms, in particular from different angles and with different cameras and and really study this in the lab with motion capture systems. It can capture it at 240 frames a second in comparison to like an iPhone with 240 frames per second. Once we were able to verify that accuracy, we then took it out to the field to do more testing with athletes. And what we wanted to see was uh, in particular the hip drop. We analyzed the hip angle between strides and for men, that needs to stay less than five degrees, and for women, less than seven degrees. And anything over that can be an indicator of potential future injury, 24 specific injuries that are related to overextending on the hip drop. Uh, and so one of the things that we did is don't just consciously change the runner's form, but give them specific exercises that they can use to strengthen hip muscles and be able to reduce their hip drop. So we worked with a physical therapist, Scott McKeel, to uh, be able to understand this hip drop issue and be able to, uh, these are some of the exercises that he recommended for my daughter, Jane, here on the left, uh, who was having an issue uh, a couple months ago with a hip injury. And so she visited him, he analyzed her hip drop, recommended these exercises to her. And then she, over the next couple months, implemented those exercises, was able to stay injury free, but also unlock some additional performance. Now, currently she's one of the top US high school runners in the nation, in the mile and the two mile. So those exercises, have, we believe, have helped her stay more injury free and also unlock some additional potential. So we wanted to make that type of expert advice available to everyone. And so developing this app, we needed something where we could take it out of the lab, off of the treadmill, into the field where somebody could record just with a cell phone, a runner coming toward them and be able to analyze in a similar way uh, the hip drop of that runner. And then use that analysis, not just once, but many times over weeks or months to be able to measure the progress that the athlete is making toward better hip drop, more strength in the hip muscles, and be able to avoid injury and unlock that potential. One of the things I've seen with this app is that as we've used it, there's been more enthusiasm from the athletes to be able to do the exercises 
such as the hip strengthening exercises with the bands, because they know that they're making progress and they can visualize it. They can see the progress that they're making over time. So we want to make, be able to make this application available on a wide scale uh, to everyone and be able to take this expert advice and make it uh, largely available. So there's a website to go to. This is www.alphapeak.io and you'll see the alpha form where you can submit your own video. And this is just our beta version of this. And you go and submit the video and then we'll return a processed version that shows you hip drop, for example. Okay, and then also AlphaCast, this is for timing systems or be able to track runners and also a gallery for photo experiences. Now, here's my collaborator, MacGyver Clark, uh, and he's gonna explain a little bit more. It's a artificial intelligence program that analyzes your running mechanics to maximize efficiency and minimize risk to injury. So what it'll do is it'll look at your form and give you exercises to strengthen what needs to so that you'd be a better and more efficient runner. 